how are you alive? So you've killed all these guys. I mean, it's not a short list of people. If you've hit a, a, a baseball bat 100 people, you know, if you do something to my family and I'm in that world, I don't know how long, you know, so how come nobody has retaliated to you? If you have this many uh, numbers of hits, how come you're still around? You're a public figure. You're living in New York. It's not like you're because, living in Montana. Listen, because I'm not P. Gotti. People know I'm vicious. And if you come after me and you don't kill me, they know that I'm going to probably do something. Well, I understand, but that's a, that's a pretty quick fix, though, right? If somebody says, so just make sure he doesn't live. Well, so why are well, you who's alive? Gonna, well, who's going to kill me, P. Gotti? No, he's in, I mean, if he was out, he's in jail. No. Who, Jackie knows? He never used a gun either. Who, Mikey Scars? No, he never used a gun. Commenting, no, he never used a gun. Right. you got to go find somebody who used a gun I'm not asking off. this to try to create an event. I'm asking this question to... But uh, if, uh, if I was worried about that, honestly, I wouldn't live in New York. You wouldn't I live in New York. Yeah, I think I, 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 I give you a lot of credit for that because... Uh, and not that others who go and live in another place, it's, you know, it's to, to each his own, but... You decide to stay in a place like that. You know, one of, the, one of the things I was thinking about when I was looking at this, I got a couple of the questions we'll go through here. But one of the things I was thinking about when I was looking at this is sometimes um, the, 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 the person to be the most careful with, and I, and I want to preface it in a way, and you can come back and answer it in any way you want. I, I just want to I just want to hear your thoughts on this. Sometimes... Um, Say there's a kid who, you know, he's got a brother, and the brother's born in America, and he's not born in America, but this kid's more driven to be a president, and this family, the father is pressuring them to be a president one day, and this brother knows no matter what he does, he can't ever become a president, even though he wants to become a president more than he wants to become a president, but he can because he was born here, this guy wasn't. Okay. It's a law. You can't do nothing right. about it, right? Okay. And sometimes this guy on this side, who maybe have more qualities to be a president that his father wants him to be. They want to make father proud, right? Hey, I want to be the guy that become, comes through and leaves a legacy for your last name, Pops. You came here from another country, I'm going to do my part, Germany, whatever you want to talk about. In the book, 40 Laws of Power, I don't know if you've read the book, 40 yeah, Laws of Power, Robert Greene. Law awesome. number one, never outshine the master, right? Do you think there was a little bit of that spirit felt about you or no? That wasn't at all. Because did they kind of get a feeling of tension to say, this guy's a little too ambitious? You know, and was that kind of your frustration to say, you know, if I can't go out there and, you know, uh, 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 get all the way to the top, screw it. I'm going to go out there and throw everybody under the bus. How much of it was that? And again, if you completely disagree, I'd love to hear your no, views on this. Here's the thing. You know what I'm saying yes, with this I, part, I, right? You got to understand, in any aspect of life, envious people and jealous people are dangerous people, right? So when they see that I was successful, they see I was making money, they see I was dangerous, they see that I had a, a big crew of people. More than Gotti's? Gotti's didn't have it. John Gotti Jr., if you can find me a killer that was around him, besides Bobby Borriello, because Bobby was killed, but he, Bobby wasn't a kid that could go on the street and baseball. John, you're people. saying you were bigger than Gotti Sr. and Jr.? No, 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 I'm not saying that. Sr. had a ton of guys. Jr. didn't have guys. Junior had not a shooter around him. But are you senior making more had, money than a senior? No, no. Okay. No, of course. So, not. so what? I, what I, the question I'm asking is: Was there a level of envy from you towards them? No, not a, listen. You, senior, all I use the only the respect level is this: As you're getting older, you're intelligent. Unless you're a, a dummy and you just follow blindly. Sure, yeah. But you start seeing. I was betrayed by them. So yeah, there is. I was loyal to the mob. They betrayed me. There's no way you can turn around the fact that John Gotti Jr. met with the government in 2003 or 4, and then he signed papers a year later, 2005. He can't change that. That's a fact. That's when he was in, and that's when I was in the penitentiaries in Brazil. You can't correlate. He can't. Tr he can try till he's dead. You can't correlate whatever I did for what you did. You did this five years earlier. So I don't know how he's even trying to correlate whatever he did, his actions. The rest of the mob knows he's a rat. Okay. Now, did I come in after that? Yes. Did Ronnie want him to cooperate? No. But did he give a statement, said he was afraid I'd kill him like everybody mm -hmm. else? Of course he did. What kind of statement is that? So that's okay? Or the guy that comes in, and he's not the only guy. Mikey Scars cooperated, Captain. And I'll, I just said, I went through a list. I could go through a list. Sure. More. So why am I loyal to a life of Italians when I'm Albanian, and they're not loyal to their own life? So this is, and they're giving me up at the same time. And all my guys are giving me up, and other guys, who am I being loyal to? Because they're not being loyal to themselves. 
So what do I owe them? They owe me nothing when I left my family. They owed me nothing when I stood in those penitentiaries and it wouldn't rat on my enemies. I wouldn't rat on anybody. I left everything to, to, to be true to that life that I believed in. But one after another, made guy after a made guy, are giving me up and giving information against other made guys. And bosses, I'm not just talking about just underlings or made guys. I'm talking about who's, who's gonna deny the fact that these guys are ratting like crazy.